The Guam Department of Education welcomed the good news after the U.S. Department of Education commended John Fernandez's leadership of strengthening internal controls and establishing an effective financial management system in the last decade. Michelle Franquez, the public information officer for GDOE, shared the update on the island's largest school system's progress on the removal of the third-party fiduciary. Last week, the U.S. Department of Education uh, gave us, uh, you know, we received commendations that, you know, we have done uh, everything we possibly can in the past 10 years to really just build up our financial management system. It was back in September 2003 when U.S. had designated GDOE as a high-risk grantee due to poor management and spending of federal dollars. Alvarez and Marcel Public Sector Services, LLC, has been GDOE's third-party fiduciary agent since 2009. The removal of the third-party fiduciary oversight will save GDOE about $2.3 million annually. Franquez explained what this means for the island's biggest GovGuam agency. With all the hard work that the GDOE upper management and employees have done to get us you know, more financially stable, um, we have they have removed 13 of the 21 responsibilities that was required of GDOE, as well as 18 of the 22 responsibilities required of the third-party fiduciary agent um, Alvarez and Marshall. GDOE now has more financial management activities as well as full control of procurement. The public school system is to maintain third-party fiduciary agent through October, which is under its current contract. The agency's board and leadership share their thoughts on the progress made by GDOE. Outgoing Superintendent John Fernandez said, quote, The letter from U.S. Ed clearly recognizes that GDOE is ready to take on full responsibility for our management of federal funds and that with the right transition plan over the next few months, we should be able to finally move away completely from third-party oversight. This is excellent and long-awaited news for GDOE, end quote. Frank Coopener said, quote, we are all excited and we are glad that under Superintendent Fernandez's leadership, we have been able to get to this point. It's our job as the GDOE team working with the board to get us over the finish line, end quote. Guam Education Board Chair Mark Mendiola said, quote, the visit from U.S. Ed was a success. The letter clearly indicates that we are closer than ever before to the removal of the third party from GDOE, end quote. GDOE pointed out that U.S. Ed is still completing its final on-site validation report and recommendations. U.S. Ed anticipates GDOE completing a transition plan for submission for review and approval, which is the determining factor of eliminating the oversight. Cooper Nurse noted that the goal is to remove the third-party fiduciary completely by October. Reporting for KUAM News, Guahusiaizia Agan.